Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've had a few questions lately asking me about what's my favorite gallery and one of them for sure is this one. We're using the great Divi Flash plugin for this today. You can find the link below the video. It is a premium plugin. Well, we've got a gallery here and you can segregate it or separate it into sections if you like. Here's all our pictures. I've got pictures of people pictures of nature and vivid colored pictures or all of them not only that it's got some great hover effects if you hover over you can zoom in or you can choose to add captions and titles and of course it's also got a light box and you can have your title and image in the light box not only that you can actually have a download button on the light box if you want people to be able to download the images. Really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is enable the Visual Builder. Okay, I'm simply gonna go down and delete this module. So I've got a section with a row with a single column. I'm gonna hit the little dark button to add a new module. And here it is, Advanced Image Gallery. All the little blue icon ones are the ones you get as standard with Divi. All the purple ones are the ones you get with the Divi Flash module when you have it installed. And there's plenty of them and there's some awesome little additions here. There really are. And here's more regular Divi ones, more Flash ones. So let's go and insert our advanced image gallery. There it is right there. First thing we want to do is add a new item. And We'll call this one people. Hit the little button down here to add your images. Can't use those images because they're just too small. Well, I mean, I could, but they're tiny images. So let's grab a few of these. And if you hit the control key while you're doing this, you can add multiple images. There we go, that'll do. As with any gallery, you can sort of move things by left clicking, holding and dragging. And there we are, as you can see, it's popped the images in there. I'm gonna save this, hit the little green button. Let's add a new one. I'll say nature. I think I've got some nature type pictures there. Again, simply add the images that you want. and I'll save that and we'll add one more I'll say vivid for vivid colors just trying to go with what I've actually got in my library here there we go And as you can see, it's already aligned them in a nice little masonry type gallery there. Now we can go over to our styling and start doing some stuff. So let's just save this one and take us back to the main advanced image gallery module right here. Let's go into our gallery settings just down below. Obviously, you can move these up and down if you want to change the position of where you've actually put them in there. As you can see, the nature ones are now on top. So I'm going to go into gallery settings now. You can change the image size, small, medium, large, or even original if you want to. How many you want in an actual row? I'm going to leave mine as four, seems to work quite well. Obviously if you make it less, the images will be larger, like that. I'm going to take it back down so it doesn't spill quite so far off the page there. Now layout mode, that's what I was talking about before. We've got a masonry right here, which is great for different size pictures. If your pictures are all the same aspect, same width and length, use a grid and they'll look nice and uniform for you. But with different length pictures, you're gonna have a bunch of gaps like this. So I'm gonna put mine back on masonry. Obviously space between, you can have a magazine style where they're all touching like that if you want to. I wonder if we can take it down to zero. Yeah, sure can. 
and let's put that back to how it was 10 I believe now the filter navigation we've created three different sections here or three different galleries almost if you put this off on filter navigation there's our filters up there you can use custom links if you want to and link your module wherever you wish I would leave that off because I'm going to use a light box and here's where it gets really interesting if I flip the light box to on not only can you choose to pop it out into a regular light box but you can put a download link in there if you want people to be able to download your images I'm going to leave that off but I am going to turn the light box on now hover settings you can have an overlay if you want simply switch that to on and put in a gradient if you'd wish there's one in there I tend to like to have my colors a little opaque when I have an overlay and this really works well if you've got text and description in there which is another great feature that we can do here as you can see there's an overlay there I think I might change that to black actually that'll make the text very legible okay border animation you can put a border around there and animate it if you want I'm gonna leave that off today content space that's the content that's actually in there go on an image I need to switch this on so you've got content position you can scale your image like have it zoom in or zoom out that's a nice little feature right there. there's plenty to choose from and here's where you turn your content on show caption and you can have it showing all the time if you want for instance that's got a caption there that's got a title on it that's got a title on it there and you can also show description I've got this here as you see it's got the description in there as well now title description that one's got nothing in it now you can choose to always show it if you want to and you can have different reveals for the description as well as the actual caption so if I was to put this one see they're coming in from different directions there okay here's a link if you want to link the whole module somewhere I'm not particularly interested in doing that right now background you can add a background color to it design wise well obviously you've got all the styles that you would have in any other Divi module huge amount of fonts you can change big large color however you want both for the caption and the description here I'm happy to leave mine just as it is at the moment image you can give it box shadows hue saturation all the usual filters there again we've got our overlay I don't want to add anything new to that filter buttons here's our filter buttons at the top and as usual you can do what you wish with these a great feature is you can align them where you want put them in the middle give them a background color change the font style spacing alignment I'm gonna make my white in the middle there you give them separate borders and box shadows active filter button if you want the one that's active to be highlighted a different color let's make the active one purple there we go simply edit that there and you can have a load more button at the bottom if you choose to show only a certain amount of images and that's pretty much it I really don't need any borders sizing wise if it's taking up too too much space you can shrink it down as you can see that's changing the actual spacing I'm gonna leave mine on hundred percent which will take up the hundred percent available width don't want to do anything to the spacing or filters so I think we're good to go let's save what we've got here we'll save our page changes down at the bottom save draft or publish if you're ready let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got and here we are here's our little gallery we've got all our nice little images in there 
we can filter just show the nature people vivid colored ones back to all of them again and when we roll over we've got a zoom effect and we've got the overlay and we've got our caption and title in there and we can click on it open it in a light box you can scroll through with the light box if you wish and anything with a title and description you can have it show up down here like I said before you can add a little down download button if you want people to download these images from your site so this this really has got a lot of features to it, this gallery once again this is the advanced gallery module from the Divi flash plugin and you can find the link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day